We have had, for the last 30 plus years, disastrous trade policies. I know it's not a sexy issue, but it is an enormously important issue. And what these trade agreements are about, NAFTA, CAFTA, Permanent Normal Trade Relations with China, Trans-Pacific Partnership, what these trade agreements are about is, number one, by and large, they are written by corporate America and the big money interests. These are the guys who write it. And what do they want? What they want is to have an agreement which enables them to shut down manufacturing plants in the United States of America so they don't have to pay workers here in Illinois or Michigan or Ohio 20, 25 bucks an hour. They don't have to pay them a decent wage. They don't have to negotiate with unions. They don't have to protect environmental laws. They can shut down here. They can go to Mexico. They can go to China. They can go to Vietnam. They can go to very low-wage countries. And then they can bring their products back into this country. Here's what's happened since 2001. Since 2001 in America, we have lost almost 60,000 factories, millions of decent paying jobs. Our disastrous trade policies are one of the reasons as to why that has happened. People have lost good paying jobs, then they go out and work for jobs paying them eight or nine bucks an hour. You can't make it on that. Now on that issue, I will tell you that from day one, I understood what these trade agreements were about. I knew that they were designed to protect corporate America at the expense of working people. I voted and helped lead the opposition against virtually every one of these trade agreements. <laughs> On the other hand, Secretary Clinton supported NAFTA she supported permanent normal trade relations with China. Those agreements have cost us millions of jobs as a nation hit the Midwest particularly hard. If elected president, trust me, we will have a new set of trade policies.